right now on the 6 o'clock news. The campaign trail heating up to a fever pitch. We'll tell you how the tide is turning in some key battleground states. Plus outrage after an Israeli airstrike reportedly claims at least 80 lives. Why Israel says it had to attack. I came out to uh, get some air and I heard this screaming. A normally peaceful part of the Upper East Side right near Gracie Mansion in a state of shock after a woman is sexually assaulted. Good evening, everyone. I'm Robert Moses. The victim is a 19 year old and the suspect is still on the loose. It happened overnight at East 90th Street and York Avenue, a stone's throw from Gracie Mansion. A doorman happened to be outside to help the victim. Duarte Geraldino is live on the Upper East Side with the latest. Good evening, Duarte. In the South Bronx, Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News. If you know, you know. Well, if you've ever wondered what's in the air that you're breathing on the subway platform, we have the answer, and it may not come as a surprise that it's not very clean. We'll explain. And straight ahead, Vibes Cartel, in his own words and on camera. Time is precious. Don't waste it. The dance hall music star speaking exclusively to Fox 5's Lisa Evers. We'll be back. You're watching the 6 o'clock news. Welcome back. Here's a quick look at our top stories tonight. A normally peaceful part of the Upper East Side is in a state of shock. Police say a 19 year old woman was sexually assaulted in the shadows of Gracie Mansion. The suspect is still on the loose. This all happened around 1 o'clock this morning. A doorman heard the woman screaming and rushed to her aid. He also saw the person who investigators believe may have been her attacker. Turning to the war in Gaza, an Israeli airstrike reportedly claimed dozens of lives. It happened at a school turned into a makeshift shelter. Witnesses say the strike hit as people were praying inside of a mosque. Israel says it was targeting a Hamas command center and is refuting Hamas's numbers. And as the battle for the White House heats up, recent polls say the race has tightened. A New York Times-Siena College poll shows Kamala Harris has taken the lead in three key battleground states, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. The campaign for former President Trump says the po these polls don't tell the full story. If you ride the subway every day, you probably already think the air you're breathing in on that platform is dirty. But in case there was any doubt in your mind, Fox 5's Duarte Geraldino has the results of new research proving just how bad that air really is. Until, I don't even know when, a week after the, today, uh, we really have a clear seven day forecast with just little risks of rain. Uh, Robert, back to you. We have a lot it. of good stuff in our, in our future. <laughs> it looks perfect. Thank you so much. And that's all for the six o'clock news. We hope to see you again after the baseball game. Until then, have a great night. It's time to make every day a good day. Join Rosanna Scotto and Kurt Menefee for Good Day New York. They're bringing a fresh perspective to your morning news. We appreciate you joining us here. Come for the news. There is a big battle going on at City Hall. Stay for the people. There's no better way to start your day. Join us for Good Day New York. Weekdays, 7 to 10 a.m.